this is question 36. College Board is asking for a value on a parabola where the equation of the parabola is y equals negative x squared plus 5x, which is y equals negative x times x minus 5. That has zeros at x equals 0 and at x equals 5. And we know that the vertex hk equals negative b over 2a and f of negative b over 2a, where a is negative 1 and b is 5. So negative 5 over negative 2 is 5 halves. And the y value is negative 25 over 4 plus 25 over 2, which is negative 25 over 4 plus 50 over 2 is 25 over, I'm sorry, plus 50 over 4 is 25 over 4. So the vertex here is 5 halves 25 over 4, which we can also do on a scientific calculator or a graphing calculator. Now, if the line y equals c intersects two points there, two points there, two points there, the only time we intersect at only one point is when we pass through the vertex. And above the vertex, you have no points of intersection. So if x equals c intersects a parabola at exactly one point, I'm sorry, if y equals c intersects at exactly one point, then c is the y value at the vertex which gives me c equals 25 over 4. Alternatively, I can graph this on my graphing calculator, negative x squared plus 5x. And in the standard window, that looks, oh dear. Try that again, negative x squared plus 5x. That was not a, not a parabola, so I knew that I had the wrong keys. It looks like my image there. And I can visualize horizontal lines, y equals some constant c. And the only time that has one point of intersection is at the vertex. And so I can find the maximum. Calculate the maximum. Choose a point clearly to the left, another point clearly to the right, and just hit enter for guess. And it says y equals 6.25. Again, same answer I got algebraically. College Board often asks questions about the vertex, zeros, x-intercepts, y-intercepts of a quadratic. So make sure you're comfortable finding all of these and you understand the meaning in context. In this case, they asked for the value that only had one y-value corresponding, or one x-value corresponding to that y, and that was, of course, the vertex. And come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.